What's up, guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, doctor of physical therapy, toneandtitan.com, answering your questions today as I wanted to share with you five simple tests that you can do at home to determine whether or not you might have a meniscus injury. Let's get into those right now. All right, so in order to understand what a meniscus injury is, let's first talk about what a meniscus is. Here I have my, my knee joint model, and so the femur and then the tibia fibula right here. If I were to show you the top of that tibia, this part right here, I'm going to come in here so you can get a little bit better look at it. You'd have two cartilaginous pads that sit right here on top of your tibia. Now the purpose, and, and those are called your, uh, well, one meniscus, two menisci. And so you have a medial and a lateral. Medial would be on the side of your big toe or on the inside part of your knee. Lateral would be on the outside or your little toe side of your knee. The purpose behind those menisci is to add shock absorption and stability to your knee. You'll see that as the femur, as I stand, as I weight bear on that, it's going to compress down on that knee joint. It's that meniscus that adds not only stability, but also cushion to the knee under those types of conditions. And so we need it. It's obviously important, but then at the same time, it's also an area that's susceptible for uh, susceptible to injury. Um, now, meniscus injuries usually happen in weight bearing and when you pivot. Meaning, if I'm standing on my knee and if I turn or if I twist funny or if I'm weight bearing on it, you hear a lot about uh, you hear about it a lot in sports, uh, football and soccer, especially as someone like if I'm playing soccer and I'm planted and going to kick and someone takes my knee out. It's that planted twisting that torques on that meniscus just right that can cause some tearing to occur. Now, that being said, those are the types of tests that we want to take your knee through in order to determine whether or not that meniscus is injured. And so I'm gonna put you in some different positions and, and put you in through some different tests. I'm gonna show you guys how to do those at home um, that, are, that are maybe gonna be a little bit painful. They're designed to elicit some symptoms and if they are, if they are positive, or if they are painful, that kind of cues us into the, okay, it might be that meniscus at play. Now, most of these you can do on your own, but some of them it works, it's a little easier if you do have an assistant or someone there to help you out. And so I'm gonna go get my wife and I'm gonna help her and, and we're gonna run through these for you together. Um, one more thing that I might mention, um, I did shoot a, another YouTube video. It's three tests you can do at home to assess your ACL, whether or not you have an ACL injury. You guys can see that in the description down below. It's also floating right up here right now. This video comes in response to that video, meaning a lot of you have said, you know, none of these tests are positive, but pain is here and I got it from this and this is when it hurts. So this is a follow-up to that ACL video. If you guys want that ACL information, check out down below. For the purposes of this video, let's show you how to determine whether or not you might have a meniscus injury. I'll go get my wife and let's get into it. All right, you guys, here she is again. Brought in my lovely wife, Camille. <laughs> She's gonna help me to demonstrate some of these tests with you. Again, a lot of them you should be able to do on your own, but there are a couple that you're gonna need the help of another person, um, and so keep that in mind. And so test number one um, is actually just joint line tenderness. Tenderness right at that joint can be indicative of this meniscus injury. Basically what you want to do is you want to find the joint line and how I tell people if you're seated it's going to be like right at the kind of the bottom of your kneecap level that's right about where your knee hinges. If I were looking at the lateral meniscus I would I would take a thumb and I would just kind of palpate kind of roll up and down and kind of try to find areas of tenderness. If you find an area of tenderness that can be indicative of a meniscus injury. You can also do this with your leg out straight and so I'm going to kick her leg out straight. Lateral meniscus is on the outside. You're just going to use one finger to kind of roll up and down that joint line um, and then you can do that same thing on the inside also. If that is positive, meaning if there is pain there, that can be indicative of a meniscus injury. Test number two, she's going to sit kind of right down that way, um, is whether or not you have full extension in your knee, meaning if, if, uh, if her right leg here was the one that I was testing, for me to bring it out straight, I might kind of get right here, kind of this five to 10 degree. She might lack what we call terminal extension, meaning she just can't straighten her leg out all the way. If that's blocked, like if it's like a mechanical, like I can't straighten my leg anymore, or if that's painful right there, if I get to that point and she starts saying, ow, yeah, that's, that hurts, let's not straighten that out anymore, 
those two things, or that, that thing, that, that lack of terminal extension um, can be indicative of a meniscus injury also. Uh, next test, she's going to lay down on her back. And this is where it's going to help to have an assistant come in. And so let's go ahead and she's going to kick her right leg out straight. I'm going to test her left leg. Now to do this, this is called a McMurray's test. What she's going to do, I'm going to bring her knee up into this full flexed position. So that's about as high as I can take it. Now depending on which way I rotate her foot, I can kind of bias where the stress is in that knee joint. And so if I'm going to rotate her foot towards you guys, I just take one hand, rotate towards you guys. I'm going to hold that rotation. I'm going to keep some pressure on the outside of her knee. As I rotate to the inside, I'm going to test her lateral meniscus, so the meniscus on the outside, keeping that foot rotated towards you guys. And then I'm just going to extend it slowly all the way straight. So I rotate inside, that's to check the outside or the lateral meniscus. I would then do that again by rotating her foot to the outside, that's going to check the inside, the medial meniscus, and then just perform that same test. Um, now and, and go all the way straight. If this is positive, a lot of times what you'll see is people will kind of get a block right here and they'll say, ow, don't take that any further. Or when you get all the way to the end, you kind of feel this click or it just kind of thunks into place. I don't know how, I don't know how to say it any better than that. Um, that would be indicative of a meniscus injury also. Uh, let's see, one more in this position. I'm going to have her flip over onto her stomach. And now we're going to do what we'd call an Apley's compression test. Um, if I am going to be assessing her right leg, I'm going to bend her right leg into this position. The idea is to just create some stress on that meniscus. To do that, what I'm going to do is give her an axial load, meaning I'm just going to push her foot straight down in this direction. Some people, that can be painful, but then to specifically test you know, medial and lateral meniscus, I can again rotate her foot. I'm going to push down and then I'm going to rotate her foot towards you guys. And so as I rotate her foot internally, that's going to test that lateral meniscus. And if that's painful, that would be indicative of a positive test. Positive meaning you might have an injury in that spot. And then if I, if I compress here and if I rotate laterally, that would be the medial meniscus test. Okay, we've got one more to show you um, in standing. All right, so our last test is going to be what we call the Thessaly test, named after the guy who thought it up. Sometimes you refer to it as the disco test. Basically, we're going to load the joint in a weight-bearing position and then twist on it. Kind of the same mechanism of injury, but by doing that, we can reproduce symptoms that cues me into, okay, yeah, there might be a meniscus injury present. And so Camille's going to do this one in standing. Um, if you're doing this at home, I would recommend that you do this at like a counter or a bar or a tabletop, or if you have a chair, if you have something to hang on to to just provide a little more stability to it, um, I would recommend that you do that. I'm going to be Camille's stability. I'm going to hold her hands. And what she's going to do, so we're testing if she's got an injury on this right side, she's going to stand just on her right leg. Then she's going to just unlock her knee a little bit, just like a five degree bend is all that we're after. And now she's going to rotate. She's going to rotate away from you and she's going to rotate towards you. Basically just putting stress on those menisci again. She's going to do that three times. And um, what you're looking for here is a, just a reproduction of that pain in your knee. So that was okay. So far, she's healed. Okay. It's a miracle. <laughs> And then we're going to do that again. That was just a slight kind of five degree bend in her knee. She's going to do that again at a little bit deeper angle, about a 20 degree. And then she's going to do it this, uh, the same thing. She's going to rotate um, away from you and towards you. And she's going to go three times to each side looking for a reproduction of pain in her knee, a reproduction of those symptoms that might be occurring. All right, you guys, so there you have them, five of my favorite tests that you can do even just right at home to assess whether or not you might have a meniscus injury. Now, if any of these are positive or meaning if any of them do reproduce your pain, go get that checked out, you guys. Go, go get it looked at by a local physical therapist or a local orthopedist or even a local doctor to determine the next step in your care to determine the best plan for you. Um, none of what I presented is meant to be, you know, the, the end-all, be-all. It's just simply diagnostic, meaning it's it's meant to point you in the right direction. There's no substitute for personal care from your local provider. So I, uh, I hope you guys go and check that out. I also hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you guys go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below. And thank you so much for that in advance. If you have any questions or comments about any of the material that I covered in this video, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll get that answered as soon as I can.
Hey, while you're here, subscribe to Tone and Titan. You can do that by hitting the circle button right down here below. If you think you might have an ACL injury, here are three simple tests that you can do at home to assess your ACL. You might check that out. If you have knee pain, if you're looking for stretches and exercises, here are 10 of my favorite down in that corner down there. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.